How's it going, everyone? Wow, my finger still hasn't healed, but let's go. Today is the weekend, Saturday, to be specific. At the end of the afternoon, I stopped by the office because I just came from a franchise fair that took place here in Houston, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Although I don't like franchises, I believe that um, many ideas came up there, emerged there, and I will mention at least three of them here for you. Today I'm going to talk, I'm going to record a couple more videos because otherwise they will end up being too long. And I don't like making very lengthy videos because I believe each one has a purpose. So let's go. This fair was closed to people interested in business. You had to register. You would receive an invitation and then you would go there. Each booth, there were 30 booths, you were attended to with no more than five or six people because they really wanted to. Give attention and explain more about the franchise, its history, and the business. I personally like three businesses there. Many others were really cool, very cool indeed, but I think they have absolutely nothing to do with the profile of my clients or with the type of businesses my clients want to open. And I selected these three, the first of which I want to talk to you about here, which I truly fell in love with and found very cool, laser cleaning. I don't know if you have seen it, but I will leave some links in the description for you to watch. I found it fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I personally saw several utilities for it and the cost of such a machine is not high so it can fit perfectly into a business that people are starting here in the United States, which can provide extra income, which can be for an E2 visa, which can be for an L1 structure, or which can be for you to earn some extra money alongside your business. So I thought it was really cool. What happens, uh, there are some formats of machines. One is for cleaning small parts where you place them inside the machine. In other words, it is a machine about this size, roughly one meter wide and one meter deep. You place a part there, it scatters the part. Then it comes with the laser wearing down the cover of the part. In other words, it will do all the cleaning of that. It serves to clean silverware. It serves to clean metal parts. It serves to remove paint from some items. It serves to print on some phone cases, for example. It serves to engrave a name on the back of a watch. In other words, this same machine does all this work. This machine costs around $12,000. And another machine that I found fantastic, brilliant, very cool is for you who have a dealership, for you who have a business that deals with workshops, with this kind of thing, it's a really great service. He was telling me that a cleaning service like this costs around $2,500. In other words, if you are going to sell your car, when you take your car that is already more used, like 10 years old, that was an example he used. In fact, you take a 10 year old car, the exhaust is rusty. The engine has those little oil marks or those little rust spots. When you pass this machine over, which is a manual machine, it goes in your hand. You don't place the piece inside, it goes in your hand. I put on a visor, similar to a welding visor. So it's welding, right? I think that's the name in Portuguese, where you place the metal and take that stove on top. It's welding. You put on a mask like that and start cleaning, passing the laser over the metal part and it becomes white. I will show you here. It looks like a new piece. I will also include some videos in the description link for you to see what it is. This specific machine at the fair cost $14,000 and you can charge an average of $2,000 per service. The person takes a car, goes to a dealer, gets an evaluation, and the dealer sees that the car is somewhat worn down, so he can't improve on that price. But sometimes he spends $2,000 and manages to earn four or 5,000 more in the evaluation of his car because his car looks more presentable, cooler and prettier. So I think that's really great. This can even be used on the door of my house, which is metal. It was the first thing that came to my mind. When the hurricane passed, her threshold, which is also metallic, the entire door is metallic, the frame is metallic, everything is metallic. The threshold had water infiltration and there are some bubbles in the paint. For sure, that will have to be scraped and repainted. The first thing that came to my mind was that I would paint the entire door. I'll hire someone to do a complete exfoliation of the door with this laser. It will be all smooth and clean by the time a sealant is applied and then a layer of paint. 
This will last much longer than if I simply had it scraped and painted, sanded, and painted. So it definitely results in a cooler, more presentable service with good quality, and it could be a tip for you to start your business here, whether for E2, for L1, or for some other business to earn some extra money. Here's a tip for you. I don't sell anything. I don't work with them and I don't have a partnership with them. I'll leave the link here. And if you're interested, get in touch with several companies. This company that I am leaving the link to here is not one of those selling the franchise because they only sell the entire franchise. They do not sell the machine. I'm going to leave the machine here. I'm not selling it. I don't know. I don't have contact with anyone. You all look for it yourselves. I'm just bringing you the idea and the tip. I will record two more videos. There are three of these that I liked at the fair. And if any more ideas come up, I will share them with you. Leave a comment here if you like this type of video, because usually this kind of video tends to have a bit fewer views than the others. I wanted your feedback on whether it's good for us to keep recording this type of video with business ideas, or if everyone should just look for their own and we shouldn't waste time on this, okay? Big hug, take care.